Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy, Spooky Prrr, Noodles. I am back with another book mail video, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a book mail video. Haven't bought a lot of books, and don't plan on buying a lot of books, because I have to save money. Badly. So, but I did decide to go and splurge a little bit. I was depressed, and... Needed a little pick-me-up, so I went ahead and picked up these books. Um, I They're all new to me authors, I believe, so I do have... I have bought one of these authors before, but I haven't read them before. So, and then the other two are just completely new authors to me. So, I've, I've heard of good things about these books, except for one I don't know anything about. Um... But we'll see when we get there. Um, so yeah. <laughs> First book we have here is by Leo Drake. Or Leo Dark, I should say. My dyslexia is mixing up the letters. Um, this is Mr. Nasty. Let me read the back for you guys. Cut. Film and TV extras are turning up butchered on set. The only clues being VHS cassettes of infamous band Video Nasties on the site of each horrific murder. Is a copycat killer at large, inspired by the vile acts depicted in the notorious tapes? Or could the monster characters from the Nasties themselves be escaping from their VHS clamshells to stalk the land? When supporting actor Tommy Wallace finds both his past and the nasties catching up with him, surely it's time to press eject for the last time. Or is the one obsolete format that just refuses to die? Something is thriving on the violence inspired by the tapes, feeding on a diet of Nazi death camp atrocities, axings, and mutilations. And the band play on. And then there's some, some, uh, uh, some, uh, man, I'm not thinking today. There's some, well, there's, like, other authors commented on the, uh, oh, I got some freaking deodorant on my finger. Yeah. So this book comes in, ooh, the font is pretty small. Um, this book comes in at... 232 pages. That's Mr. Nasty. All right. Then this is a new to me author, you know. Um, I'm very excited. Um, I found this cover actually on Fiverr. And I was I had looked it up to see if it was a real book. And lo and behold, it was. So, yeah. Next we have... The Whores of Satan by Harrison Phillips. That's just a dope-ass cover right there. You can see her intestine and stuff, and it's just, just a little rad. Warning, this book contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Long ago, the witches burned. Their evil was vanquished from this world once and for all, but evil won't stay dead forever. Emily thought she'd lost everything. She felt as though there was no hope left for her, but then she found a letter, but then, a, but then the letter arrived. A letter that seemed to promise things that simply couldn't be. The letter told her to go to the woods, to look for them. There she would find the answers and questions, two questions she hadn't even dared to ask. And so she went. Into the woods, into the unknown, and perhaps into the depths of hell her itself. Boom. And, uh, yeah, this book comes in at, um, normal font this time. Um, this book comes in at 186 pages, so boom. And next is, uh, Psychic... Teenage Bloodbath by Carl John Lee, forward by Judith Sonnet, who I know. This is an extreme horror novel. And let me read the back for you guys. Susan Ward is in a coma. She's been there for one year, ever since the accident. She can't speak, can't, she can't move, she can't even close her eyes. 
Unable to sleep, Susan has gone quite mad. But deep within the recesses of her mind, she's discovered a new and frightening set of skills. And now, one year later, Susan will use these skills for one single-minded blood-soaked purpose. Revenge. From the sadistic mind of Carl John Lee, author of Horror House and Perversion, comes a nightmarish tale of vengeance and brutal stomach-churning violence. Psychic teenage bloodbath. Don't let her inside your mind. Bum, bum, bum. And those are the three books I got. Um, if I'm being honest with you, they all sound rad as fuck, so I can't wait to read all of them. Um, I honestly, I guess the one I'm most excited about would probably be the Psychic Teenage Bloodbath, but Mr. Nasty sounds good too, and so does Harrison Phillips' book. But, um, honestly, they all sound rad, so I can't wait to read them. Um, it's been a while since I've actually, like, been able to sit down and read. I did just finish, uh, Snow Shark. Um, I, that was an audio book, though. I haven't really sat down and read a book for a long time, so, yeah. Um, personal things, um, before I go. Um, I have been writing a little bit, like, a teensy, teensy bit. Um, I've been writing for Bright Lights. And I've been writing for Nine Lives. Um, those two novellas I hope to release this year. Um, Symbiotic is still in the editing stages. I haven't touched it, to be honest with you, because it's frustrating to see all those edits. But then again, it is from a long time ago. Um, let me move my book so Lula can go lay down on the bed. Um, y yeah, um... So yeah, it's been it's been quite a uh, quite a thing to write lately, um, but I'm hoping to release some stuff this year, and hopefully they're good things. I don't know, we'll see. But um, we'll see. Um, the next book I'm reading is by Jessica Guess, I think it is, and it's uh, Circus or Cirque. I forget what it's called, but it's a, it's a uh, it's a serial killer, like a you know like like trying to I don't know I don't really know much about it honestly, but I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, I'm also reading Rath James White's The Resurrectionist, and then on audiobook I'm not sure what I'm gonna pick next, but I'll let you guys know. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Think I was a lizard in a past life. When I see a flat rock, I don't really act right. Truck drives by and you know I gotta chase it. Barrel roll, barrel roll, flying like a snake fish. Pounce, run on all fours like a wild boar. Sleep like a bat till I fall on the hard floor. Eyes of a hawk, but I'm dog blind. Leap like a frog, but I'm hog tied. Hey babe, how was the business trip? Oh great, you know, one of the busiest. I'm done this time, probably not gonna ruin my life when I get caught. <laughs>